Hi, I'm Sunita Rodriguez. I love my kids, my husband, my job, and I love to cook. My mantra is to cook it simple, to cook it good, and to cook it with soul. I've trained as a chef at the Taj Group of Hotels and traveled to food festivals all over the globe. My tactics and tricks hold the secret to cooking up happy times. Join me on Meals on the Run with Sunita. Hi, I'm Sunita Rodriguez and it's Aprons Up for Meals on the Run. I'm sure all you working mothers out there find it difficult to put together a tiffin for your children to send to school every day. Well, today we're going to do a really simple yet fun menu that's going to want your kids to go to school even on the weekend. I'm going to show you some really stress-free recipes. A whole lot of vegetables and fruits all thrown in. If children like it, then that's what you need to serve them. And in a blink of an eye, they're done. The soft cherries, the apple with the sugar, the orange juice. I can't stop with just one bite. We're going to start out with some small mini sandwiches followed by a lovely crumbly apple crumble. We have some crispy fish fingers with a coriander dip and to end it all, some small yet delicious chicken kebabs. I'm going to begin with my mini sandwiches. Very simple sandwiches. I'm just trying to throw in a little healthy element into it. So, I have here some cheese spread. I've grated some carrot very, very finely and squeezed out all the excess moisture. In goes the carrot. I've also grated some apple. Now, apple adds a lovely sweetness to the cheese spread, not to mention a boost of vitamins. Mix that up really nicely. I have some gherkins that I'm adding just for a nice tangy flavor inside. And some nice red cabbage. Finely shred them. So, in that goes a little bit of salt. Don't put too much because the cheese already has its own salt. This totally beats a regular sandwich because it's got a whole lot of vegetables and fruits all thrown in. I've got some regular sandwich bread here. You could use brown bread if you like. And I'm going to put just a little bit of butter. This is going to be a triple decker sandwich. So the layers in which the cheese goes in does not require butter. Just a little bit of mustard. Now into this layer I have this lovely piece of chicken, chicken ham. And I put that in. Lettuce. Put in whatever vegetables that you're comfortable with. And of course some nice sliced tomatoes. Avoid giving your children grilled sandwiches for school because grilled sandwiches tend to become really tough and soggy after some time. So they are best had when they are warm. I put there a little bit of salt, some crushed pepper, and with that I'm going to close this. And now for this lovely cheese filling here on top. This can double up as a breakfast sandwich or you can pack it up and take it yourself for lunch and cut it into nice little fingers. Now you can pack this in a cling film and send it to school. A lot of kids get bored with the same shape and size of a sandwich. So the more you can vary it, the safer you are. And a little toothpick there just to hold it all in place. So there, very simply, minimum effort, you have put together your mini sandwiches. Just look at a riot of color. Drizzle in a little bit of olive oil and that's all it needs. Nice, simple mini sandwiches. Easy to make, yet great to eat. I'm just gonna dig into one of them right away. And you can see all the layers there. The ham, 
the lettuce, the tomato, and of course, that wonderful fruity, tangy cheese mixture in between. Mmm, I could settle for this any day for lunch or dinner. prepare a kiddies meal without making something sweet. My next dish is going to make both happy, me and my kids. My apple cherry crumble. Well, I need one nice big apple that I'm going to clean up. I've already preheated my oven there. You can make a crumble with apple or pineapple. They're both equally good. So, cut this up. As you can see, I've just cut big pieces, put all that in, put in about two tablespoons of cherries and about two tablespoons of orange juice. A little bit of brown sugar, two teaspoons, pinch of powdered cinnamon. Just mix that really nicely directly in your baking dish. The smell of the cinnamon and the apple is something that you can't resist. A little bit of lime there. And we're done with the first layer. And now for the crumble. To make a crumble, you need butter which is cold because I'm going to cut it into small pieces, tiny little cubes. Put this in a bowl, two tablespoons of refined flour and just rub that in the flour ever so gently. This may take a little bit of time but it's well worth the effort. To this I'm going to add two tablespoons of oats. So I'm actually splitting the flour up and making it a little more healthy. Well your mixture starts to resemble breadcrumbs Put in about two tablespoons of sugar and a little more of the cinnamon powder. Now I'm going to add one more ingredient to my crumble and that's a few cashew nuts. So in it goes, in the bag and in that goes too. Now all that lovely mixture goes right on top of this and if you are like me and you like a thicker layer of the crumble than the filling, then be generous. And now all that's left is to put it in my oven, shut it and forget it till the crust becomes nice and crumbly and brown. As I said, a simple, delectable dessert, apple cherry crumble. And now it's time to move on to our next dish, our fish fingers with a coriander dip. So now we're going to get down to making some nice, healthy, different kind of fish fingers. I have here fillets of a little thicker fish. I'm using red snapper. And I'm going to cut this along the line of the fish. And there it is. A simple marination some ginger garlic paste, some salt, and some lime juice. Mix it up and put in those fish fingers. I'm going to leave that to marinate for just a while. I have some breadcrumbs. I'm going to put a little dash of some healthy oats and some grated Parmesan cheese. Mix that up. A little bit of thyme. Fresh if you have it. If not, then powdered is perfectly fine. Just blend that in nicely. So I've made my breadcrumb mixture here. Now all I need is a plate of flour. An egg. Just beat up the egg. 
and then take your nice firm pieces of fish and in this order dip it in flour egg and then this lovely cheesy bread crumb mixture so just pat all that extra bread crumb mixture put it over to the side these crumbs are so much healthier because we've mixed oats in the bread crumbs oats are really good for cholesterol good for children well i'm just going to put my pan on the fire just a little bit of olive oil here i prefer to pan fry fish fingers rather than deep fry them and i'm going to very gently put this in don't make it too hot or the bread crumbs will burn pat it down nicely so that none of it comes out and in it goes now while that is frying i'm going to quickly make a nice healthy coriander dip some thick curd you can use normal curd and then hang it for a few days add in a nice chopped gherkin it's a very simple dip but it's very refreshing and a good alternative to the normal accompaniment of fish fingers which is tartar sauce in goes some nice fresh green coriander and you got to keep an eye on the fish because the bread crumbs will brown very soon there they are the parmesan cheese also starts to become brown so in goes my coriander some lime a small clove of garlic crush the garlic chop it up a little bit of salt here i have it a nice healthy nutritious dip fish fingers are done i'm going to put this on a plate and a little bit of the dip so they're nice and simple and easy fish fingers with a coriander dip the cheese and the oats and bread crumbs is formed a nice thick crust on the fish just taste a little bit of the sauce definitely a healthier alternative to tartar sauce well before we get started on our mini chicken kebabs This apple cherry crumble is calling to me and I have to answer that call. Wow, I can smell the melting sugar and the apples and the cinnamon there. delicious aroma soft cherries the apple with the sugar the orange juice forms a nice pulpy mixture down and of course the rich crumble on top mm i can't stop with just one bite
I still have one more dish to complete. My quick and easy chicken kebabs. So I'm gonna mix this chicken with a couple of vegetables, toss it in the marinade, pop it in the pan, and we are done. I'm setting the chicken aside. I have some nice mushrooms here that I'm gonna cut up. I'm gonna set them on toothpicks so that they're easy for kids to eat. I have a few onions that I've cut into cubes, tomatoes, some bell peppers, Again, try and keep it evenly sized. And of course, the chicken that I'm gonna add into this. This is a very quick method where I'm gonna marinate the chicken, the vegetables all together. Cut this into similar sized pieces. In it goes. You can use any other meat if you like, but I prefer to use chicken because it cooks so fast. And now for the marination, I'm gonna use two nice thick cloves of garlic, smash it, chop it. This recipe actually is chicken, vegetables and a dressing, to be honest. My daughter actually stumbled on this when one day she picked out the dressing from the fridge and popped it in the chicken and made little kebabs herself. I mean, if children like it, and that's what you need to serve them. Garlic, a little bit of oregano, some salt, and a little bit of ginger garlic paste. Now in this, I'm gonna put some olive oil and give it a nice quick stir. So you see, I'm not adding any spices here, but of course I can't miss out on some nice freshly ground pepper. While that's marinating, let's heat up a fire. Put in some more olive oil. And since they are tender chicken breasts, it doesn't really take too long to marinate. So mix it up and start skewering it on little toothpicks. I start out with some onion at the base, then some chicken, a piece of chicken, vegetable. I love using toothpicks because they're small, they fit so easily in your mouth. You can put this in a tiffin for a snack or you can add it with some rice or some pasta as a main course. So it's, it's really, really versatile. Everyone thinks kebabs are really complicated. We're not looking at tandoori kebabs here. We're looking at small, simple, stress-free kebabs. Now I'm done. And as you can see, this oil is really hot and in go these nice little kebabs. Make sure your pan is nice and hot. Whenever you buy chicken, it's a good idea to separate a little boneless chicken and keep it aside. You never know when it might come handy to make quick, kiddie food. And as I said earlier, chicken breast cooks really fast. So you're more in danger of overcooking it than undercooking it. You know it's cooked when it stops oozing out some liquid. Because it's getting nice and brown in the process. Let's get a nice color. You're looking at it nice and brown. And in a blink of an eye, they're done. So all that is left now is to put this on a pretty plate and serve it and of course taste it. One, two, and three, and here, one, two, and three. You can serve it up with a little salad. 
drizzled with some olive oil, some salad leaves, tomatoes, whatever you have, anything that you have in your house, some kind of salad. I mean, what's a kebab dish without a good salad? And that's it. Plain and simple, small and sweet, perfect for your kids, perfect for you. Mini chicken kebabs. I'm just gonna taste one, and I hope it's not too hot. It's really light, mild, flavor of the garlic and the oregano. I like it just like this. So today, we've worked out a perfect kiddies menu, sure to make you the super mom at home. We started off with those mini sandwiches. We followed it up with a lovely, crumbly, tasty apple and cherry crumble. And of course, then those cheesy, crispy fish fingers with a coriander sauce. And to top it all, this lovely chicken kebab platter, our mini chicken kebabs. So I'm out of here now, but till then, happy cooking. <laughs>